This is the new Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. It runs the now iconic 4-litre naturally aspirated flat 6 found in the 992 GT3 road car, developing 510 horsepower and 347 pound-feet of torque. It's important and exciting to note that this generation of Cup car runs on synthetic fuel, a feature that has the potential to revolutionize how race cars and road cars are positioned going forward. That awesome engine is married to a six-speed sequential gearbox, saving weight versus the road car's twin-clutch PDK, but still actuated using the paddle shifters on the wheel. As a spot of context, this Gen Cup car is around 200 kilograms lighter than the current 992 GT3 RS. The new 992 Cup car is safer, faster, and to my eyes, looks like one of the best Cup cars ever made, thanks in part to the revised aero an adjustable top-mounted rear wing. And of course, to top it all off, this thing wears a set of sticky Michelin slicks. Okay, so we're with Sven. Great to meet you, Sven. Yes, thanks. So, so Sven's the pro, and he's gonna <coughs> run us through how the 992 Cup car works before we go out in it. How to operate it, you jump in and uh, we go through the buttons and, and levers, etc. The easiest way. Hop we... in time. Yep. Which is <laughs> definitely not as elegant as getting into a 3RS. Oh, that looks, there we go. <laughs> that looks already pretty good. Okay, <laughs> first of all, what we have, we have three pedals. The third pedal, the left one, it's the clutch pedal. Mm -hmm. This one we only need to drive off. Okay. Uh, we have an e-gas. E-gas means you don't need to blip or push gas. It does the, the car does it by itself. You only need to push okay. the clutch and release. Um, if you push clutch, you oh, see yeah, there's no much, it. there's no much travel. It's like a button almost. It's, it's like, like an off switch. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. So you let you let this come smoothly. Then you find the bind point, and once okay. once you feel, yeah. So it starts moving. Then you just like ease off smoothly. Without gas. Without gas. Okay. That's important. Then, of course, you have the brake pedal. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Right foot brake or right foot brake? I am a left foot breaker. Left foot breaker, yeah. That works I mean, well. It actually feels counter. like it's quite far over. But Once I'm in it, it's fine. This, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, cool. The brake pedal itself, it needs quite some force. So if you mm -hmm. press like 80 bar, mm -hmm. um, this is about what we need. Uh, properly. 80 bar. Do we know what that is in <coughs> kilograms, by any chance? Uh, like 80, 80, kilo, 80, 80 kilograms. 80 kilograms. Yes. yes. So if you press it. leg. Yes. Right. Yes. So this is and basically again and a again and again and again. Gym session. Yes. Yes. But you will not recognize because this is your this is your escape from like <laughs> from the wall. Yes. <laughs> right? So okay. the question will not come up. Oh sure. no, I'm tired. I cannot do anymore. No, you will, will break hard. You will. Yeah. You will. Sure. You will. Gas pedal. Mm -hmm. um, you push that progressively. There are corners where you can go fast on it, but normally I suggest that you that you push gas. Smoothly, progressively, like, whoop, like yep. this. You squeeze, it. On you it. squeeze it well, sure. build up traction, mm -hmm. avoid uh, corner exit oversteer, and we're good to go. So yeah. now, to wake her up, we yeah. need to activate the main switch. Main switch to find on the center console. Okay. You take this, you pull this out a little bit oh, and move it down. We need okay. to let uh, the system boot, so the computer is booting, if so to say. And uh, once we see the full screen, you can turn on ignition as well. Then we go through the steering wheel. <clears throat> the steering wheel, most important uh, button is this one, HB, stands for high beam. High beam. High beam. Okay. If, you, if you are on the track, in some yeah. <laughs> we don't do this here we don't today. Do this. Okay. Sure. Okay. Don't. No. Then no the green button, uh, green button is important as well. This is the radio button. Push, wait, speak. Okay. Right? Because if you push and start uh, talking straight away because you're so excited, then I hear half of the first sentence. Not. Okay. Crank is to start the engine once you are in neutral. So you can push here or the startup button. Then acknowledge. Acknowledge is when there is a, a message in the dash saying maybe fuel uh, fuel pressure low or or low fuel or engine, uh, let's say, oil pressure low whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, you see that, you get that message and then um, you, you acknowledge. So display, DIS display, you can go through the data. Right here we have oil temperature. Oil temperature is vital data. If the oil temperature drops, uh, we have a problem, and then of course you need to come back. Full cause yellow is uh, that you that you slow down. Wipe okay. for wiper. Mark. Uh -huh. Mark is like something happens on the track. 
okay. which you want to have later a look at in, into the data. That's cool. And that you say, oh, there, the car does well, whatever, you know. And That's then you give this That's one cool. and you mark it and then the, you can look together with the engineer or with me. Okay. Last but not nice. least, um, pit speed limiter. Mm -hmm. When you enter the pit, uh, it's a second gear thing. You push this one, you're second in gear, you push it all the way down and the throttle. Stays. Go 60, you come here. You go down to first, you push clutch and uh, avoid the, the engine sort. Okay. We have rain light, light we don't need right now. Mm -hmm. You have the fan. You do, do you wear glasses or lenses? No. 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 Wet tires we would need when we drive on, on wets because they are different diameter. Mm -hmm. You would like to, uh, to adjust that. Same with the traction control. Okay. All right. Gearbox. Gearbox you would need to, uh, to push when you, for example, spin and the gearbox is like Okay. stuck in between a gear then you could you could uh, uh, push the gearbox emergency button and okay. then if you would pull here it cranks uh, the gearing okay right that so that's one. like a gearbox reset type of thing so to say so to say so to say okay last but not least uh, fire the fire button well in case of a fire uh, you would push it either here or if you see fire if you recognize fire you want to stop the car as soon as possible jump sure. out of the car and okay. you would like to pull these here in front, there, so there's yeah. uh, we cut off ignition and we cut off or we activate the fire extinguisher. There is something way more serious about getting into a race car. The protocol focuses the mind even ahead of turning the car on. And unlike even a GT3 RS that has speakers, sat nav, airbags, and general creature comforts, a race car is unapologetically focused on the singular, uncompromising task of going fast. As a little example of just how much more hardcore this cup car is versus the new GT3 RS, I had a microphone inside my helmet so I could talk you around a lap. But good luck interpreting some of the mumbles over the noise.
have. That's not exaggeration, I'm, I'm genuinely knackered. Was <laughs> <laughs> a good day? Honestly, yeah. I'm not just saying this for the camera. Mm -hmm. It's been one of the best driving days of my life. Ser seriously, man. Heavy. Yeah, I mean, it's, good. it's genuinely been one of the best driving days of my life. You know, and if you're a regular viewer of this channel, that, that means a lot, because we've, <laughs> we've had some pretty punchy experiences, okay. and that genuinely, genuinely is. I just think the event that you run, like, like as a program, it's yeah. brilliant. But to be able to, I mean, today, like if you could design the petrol head's perfect day, mm -hmm. let's go to Spa on a dry day, and let's back to back mm -hmm. the latest GT3 RS with the latest GT3 Cup car, and see how it feels. <laughs> that's literally what we've been doing all day, and Honestly, that's going to go down as one of one of the greatest driving days ever. I was just, I'm, I'm thoroughly destroyed. So just how does the new 992 GT3 RS compare against the same generation cup car? If anything, being able to drive the two back to back has made the road legal GT3 RS seem even more impressive. The cup car is, of course, the faster car, but I'd estimate only by a couple of seconds. The defining feature is the rubber. Having a set of slicks just allows the cup car to sustain more laps before tyre degradation. But the fact we can even compare the two cars, a road legal GT3 RS on Michelin Cup 2, not even on the R compound, is frankly astounding. The GT3 RS is faster down the straights with DRS activated and almost generates slick-like grip thanks to its massive aero advantage over the cup car. But ultimately, it's a road car around 200 kilograms heavier than the cup, but track day fans were getting close, really, really close to race car performance. Okay, so this is the point where we look at the data, we look at things like brake trace and throttle inputs and steering angles, and Sven's able to basically tell me where I'm going slow and I could be finding time. This is the bit where there's no opinion. It's, it's it's on the trace and it'll tell you where you're failing. And then you go back and you work on that. And the idea is you add up all those incremental changes around every corner and every breaking point. And over the course of a lap, it might add up to tenths or seconds or however slow you might be. Is it a bit faster? <laughs> yeah, it's a second faster. It's a second faster. 28, twin, he did a 28.7 on a, on a pretty good set of tires. I did a 28.9 with an old set of tires and two people in the car. So there's a bit of room, race, race but drivers, I mean, drivers. consider that he, that, he, that he drove in Spa, never on a race car before, and then in such a car, there is potential. Frankly, I'm annoyed I didn't hear about the Porsche track experience sooner. The opportunity to drive the very latest Porsche GT cars, all supported by Manti Racing, with great people and awesome hospitality is perhaps one of the greatest secrets in motorsport. So I'm a little reluctant to leave the link in the description below. For the full review of the 992 GT3 RS, head back to the channel to check it out. And if you like what you've watched, be sure to hit the subscribe button to be the first to find out when new content goes live.